Okay, this particular video is for a guy named Corey Taylor, or at least I hope you're a guy. I'm thinking it's a woman. And he basically messaged me last night and he asked me, he said, you know, I have a mach machine studio 2.0, like the one you have, but it's black. He says, I have a hard time copying patterns to different things. He says, do you have any tips on how I can do that? Please and thank you. So I told him that I would try and make a video for him. And so this is what it is. This is, this is it. Um, I must apologize before, uh, before I get into this because I meant to do this in a more visual way, but the camera that I have, it's not working properly with the system that I'm currently on. I'm using a, uh, a way outdated computer that, in my opinion, shouldn't even work anymore. But by the grace of God, it does. And so I'm able to do this. And so this is the way, this is the only way that I can do it. And uh, I hope that through this way, the way that I'm explaining it is the way that you mean or you <laughs> you meant when you asked it. I don't know. Uh, so... Here we go. So there's two ways. Actually, there were three ways that I was thinking of when you asked me this question. It took me a while to really kind of, um, you know, come up with these things because I hadn't used my machine in like a minute. Like everything that I used musically was packed up in a box. And I took all this stuff out for this video for you. So I hope that this helps somebody. I hope this helps you. And I hope you learn something from this. So... The first idea I thought of was, you know, copying groups, but that wouldn't sound right because you asked for patterns and scenes. So then I thought of two other options. So the first option is to just, um, you know, if, if you're coming up with a song, you know, if you're creating something, if you're just winging something. So we're going to do it like that. So, okay, what you see before you is a... I don't know, something I came up with. It's the last project that I, I did before I stopped using the machine because uh, where I'm at, I'm not able to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that away and I'm going to take that away because these don't belong here. Um, so say you loaded up your machine and you started making patterns, right? You just started making stuff. You just started making patterns and you like, yeah, I want to build something on this, right? So what you would do is you would press scene. And what you would see in your right uh, window in your machine console will be a bunch of blank boxes. And what you would do is you would click on one of those blank boxes, okay? So I'm going to click on... Uh, I'm going to click on this one. It's a, it's a blank thing. Then, no, I want to take that back. Thing 12, because that's empty. Okay, so you have space to put your patterns in. Okay, that's your scene right there, right? That's your scene. Okay? And what you want to do is you want to put, you want to put your patterns in your scenes. I'm trying to explain this the best way that I can, because I don't want it to sound difficult like I didn't do it right. So, so now that you have your blank scene and your uh, what you want to do to get your patterns in there is to press pattern and your patterns are things that you came up with like the, the, the little you know you took a kit and you created something in that pattern and then you just made multiple variations of them to go along with the different sounds that are in the different groups okay so you're going to click pattern and um, I guess I'm just going to wing this since I already have things within this particular piece. So I'm just going to wing this. And again, you tell me whether I'm hot or cold after you watch all this. Okay. So we're going to take the pattern in group A. And I'm just going to randomly pick one. Now that we have that first part, right? I don't know what that is. Like, I created it, but I don't know. I don't. And so, you want to take your next group, which is group B. And 
whatever you put in there. Like, my system is group A is synths, group B is drums, group C and whatever other group after that is whatever else I want to put in it. But the first two groups are synths and, drum, uh, and drums. So your second group might be drums, like mine. We might have the same setup. So in my drum group, I have a different sequence of patterns that I use for this particular project. So what I'm going to do is as this is going, I'm going to find the patterns that I put together and see which one goes best with this particular um, scene. Okay, so here we're going to go. Here we go. you do that so when you, in essence that's what I think you mean okay that's exactly what I think you mean now <laughs> if you want to take that whole scene scene 12 and you want to duplicate it what you would do is you would say scene duplicate right and you would Select the scene, right? You will select the scene from your machine console. So you would go scene, duplicate, press scene 12, and then it will blink. Once it's blinking, you take that opportunity and, well, not opportunity, you take, you take a blank space. It could be above it, it could be left to it, it could be right to it, or it could be even, even a scene that's already existing that you want to get rid of. And you touch it. And it moves, it copies that. You see how that just jumped? It copies that to that scene. And so, let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna do that. I wanna do that again. Because I just jumped. <laughs> Why did I just jump? Okay. What pattern is this? I hate see it's best to number your scene so that when you're looking at your console, you know what's what and where it's gonna go when you press it. I have a habit of not doing that, okay? Uh, okay, so this is pad 13, so this is scene 13. And I'm going to just hit scene duplicate, and I'm going to hit pad 12, which is the scene that we just duplicated, and I'm going to duplicate that to pad 13, and I'm going to touch it. You see how I just did that? And what that does is it creates um, duplicates of the same pattern. And so now what you have is a variation of different things, okay? That's, that's another option for you. So what you can do with this is, let me get rid of this particular scene. Uh, figure out what, what, what scene that is next to it. Okay, this is scene 14. So if I want to delete a scene, I would click scene, press the scene that you want to delete and hit delete where you see the button delete at in the right screen. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, let me see what else I can say. Um, if you want to just loop these three scenes to listen back to them, what you would do is you would press scene. Uh, uh, I can't do it that way because I'm not really thinking clearly. So you would hit this arrow and you would go to, let's see, I want to say this scene. And you would just play that back. just like that right now say you have a loop right say you got this loop and you don't want it to loop the same scenes all the time like you want scene 12 to be the way that it is you want scene 15 to be you know pattern 11 and something else what you would do is you would just select that scene hit scene and that is pattern 15 or if I can find it find my mind 
her. Where is it at? This thing did not load the character. And you would just hit, after you selected it, you pick which part you want to remove, right? So this is group B. That's highlighted, right? So if I wanted to change, yeah, I'm going to change group B. So I'm just going to loop this again, and I'm going to change what it sounds like. There's a different variation. So in essence, I hope that <laughs> that's what you mean, <laughs> because if not, I have no clue, sweetie, I don't. Uh, and maybe if I miss something, somebody who's looking at this video, who's probably thinking, if you're a good person, you're thinking like, oh my gosh, she's a girl, she has a machine, yay for her. But if you're a bad person, you may be thinking like, girl, what are you doing? Um, that's not right. <laughs> if, if you, if, if you want to comment and say, you know, what I did wrong wrong and you want to give some advice or help me out a little bit then leave it in the comment section below and i'm sure C Corey, as well as well as myself um thank you for that those comments that you're going to be putting down in the comment section if you feel like i did something wrong or i didn't say something right or something like that so Again, Corey, I hope that's what you meant. If not, let me know. If this did help you, then you're welcome. All right? So, you guys should bless, take care. I love you like Crescent Church no more, no less. And I will see you, I hope, sooner than later, on, uh, you know, in making another video. So, toodles.